This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hello everyone. Um, I am Srinivas and I am the trainer for this Ethernet protocol and Ethernet core verification using SV and UVM course. Uh, this is a around five to six weeks course. Uh, we will be this this course is offered in live training in uh, uh, full week training because just doing this Ethernet core verification only on the weekends is not possible. In case some experienced person is looking for this course, they could go for e-learning course with dedicated weekend support session. Uh, as you can see, there are two aspects involved in this course. One is learning of the Ethernet protocol. One is the Ethernet core verification using SV and UVM. So as part of the first aspect, we are going to learn the protocol training where we'll be focused on uh, learning the basics of communication protocols uh, then we'll be talking about uh, how the computer networking happens uh, then we'll also talk about what are the ethernet standards are there and then we'll be talking about ieee networking standards uh, then we'll talk about osi model and what are the different layers in osi reference model and then we'll talk about different ieee 802 standards like 802.1 802.3.3.2.3.4 I mean, what are the standards and which are currently deprecated and which are currently in use and uh, which standard does it correspond to the Mac core that we are verifying like 802.3, what, how exactly is it related? And we'll be talking about the Mac layer in the 802.3 standard and file layer. We'll be talking about Mac and file layer. And we'll also talk about the Mac architecture. I mean, what are the components that make the Mac architecture? So this is what is learned as part of the protocol running. It's a, uh, as you, I mean, just to clarify, we are going to work on 100 Mbps Mac core. Uh, I mean, of course, currently Giga G GPPS Mac Ethernet cores are there. But from a fresher learning perspective, this will be a good project to start with because the Mac core involves uh, the ad other advanced aspects like the direct memory access. Okay, that is something we'll see in the next slide. So as part of the first part where we learn protocol training, we get a good exposure to the entire ethernet protocol working i mean it could involve learning the concepts of uh, a full duplex half duplex the concept of csma cd protocol the concept of uh, control frames the pass frames jumbo packets uh, how to understand the ethernet frame what is the significance of the type field uh, how the packet reception uh, transmission happens uh, what is the significance of control block how the dma gets involved all those aspects gets covered as part of the protocol training as well now comes the second part of the training where we'll be working on functional verification of the ethernet mac core using system verilog and uvm so it involves all these aspects and all these aspects will be done from the scratch i am not going to take existing code i am not going to explain the code and i am not going to give you the code and ask you to run rather everything will be done from the scratch that is where the training would go for almost five to six weeks duration. So as part of that initial few sessions will be focused on uh, reading the design specification, understanding the design architecture and design subcomponents and the different interfaces in the design. Let's say the Mac core has various interfaces like uh, uh, host interface, the memory interface, the transmit interface, the receive interface, the MIA interface. So various such interfaces are there which makes up the ethernet core. And inside that there will be a DMI controller, there will be a transmit block, there will be a receive block, there will be a control block, there will be one MII block is what constitutes the Mac core. So we'll be understanding everything from the very basic concepts. Then we'll talk about what are the registers. Uh, this is where you will get exposure to the industry standard functional verification flow where there are registers inside the design, how to configure those, how to configure the design behavior using those things, how to implement the test cases to check the register behavior, everything will be covered as part of the training. Once you have read through the specification, then we'll be working on understanding how to come up with a verification plan. Then we'll be working on listing down of features, scenarios, and then eventually come up with the test plan. So once it is done, we'll learn how to list down the functional coverage points. And uh, after that, we'll be focusing on learning the test bench architecture. Uh, then we implement the test bench co component. See, all these test bench components will be implemented using system Verilog and UVM. We will also learn how to develop the register model and how to do the integration of the register model into the test bench environment. So finally, once everything is developed, we will integrate the test bench. Then we'll come, we'll focus on the second part of the aspect where we'll learn how to develop the sanity test case, basic test cases. 
then functional test cases and all these test cases will be developed using the register model that is an industry standard i mean if you go to industry they don't use the concept of uvm do to do the register programming they use the register model to do those things that also we'll be discussing uh, other than that we'll be focusing on scoreboard implementation uh, how, i mean how to do the, uh, the how to implement the checking behavior of the design uh, and then implement the regression flow regression script and we'll generate functional code functional and code coverage report and we'll also work on analyzing the coverage reports then we'll be developing more test cases for coverage closure so all these aspects will be part of the agenda and everything will be done with the theory and lab sessions let's say if i'm doing a theory session corresponding lab session will be done for the next one or two days till the time you reach till my level of training you will be my level of training means what the topic i have covered till the time till the time you reach that till the labs are done till that stage we won't proceed with the next stage of the theory session so that way we ensure that that even though training is done for a longer duration multiple i mean uh, for six five six weeks we will ensure that every participant learns all the aspects from the scratch okay. uh, so this is a brief about ethernet mac code verification it's a very good project from a fresher perspective because it gives them exposure to the entire flow this is very difficult even for an experienced person to get this kind of entire flow it gives the fresher with the first hand first hand exposure to what is meant by registers and uh, uh, all the aspects like register model development integration how to integ how to develop the test cases all those aspects and more importantly ethernet mac has a concept called as direct memory access which is very important concept in every soc so all those concepts gets covered as part of this course thank you so much for your time